Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Brandon. So uh, there was a video that I posted um, a little bit ago that talked about a uh, a big lot of consoles that I uh, traded for. Uh, I think it was like 60 something consoles and I got, gosh, I don't know, um, maybe thir somewhere between like 13 and 20 different uh, PS3s. This is kind of the first one that I'm really working with here uh, out of that. And I just wanted to give a, a quick uh, heads up um, in case anybody else comes across this, I would love it if you post something in the comments, if you have a different idea on how to fix this, because uh, I couldn't figure out how to fix it. I had to uh, uh, take apart another PS3 to uh, to replace the the, the component um, that's, that's faulty here. So what's going on is, you can see I've got the PS3 taken apart. Um, and if, uh, obviously if you don't know how to do that, check out YouTube at some point, I'll probably make a video on how to take various consoles apart, but there's a thousand of them out there. So like, uh, there, there's not necessarily a lot of need for this. One thing that I could not find though, is for this error. So what I've got here is I, you can see the fan run in there. Um, I've got the power cord and the HDMI cable, and then there's my TV. So you can see that the console is on right now. I got full auto here. And I'm going to put it in the disk drive, and you'll notice if it'll do it. Yeah, you see how it how it hesitates, and it kind of wants to go. It kind of doesn't. Um, and what's interesting here is that it's intermittent, so it it does it sometimes, and other times it doesn't do it. So we're going to try one more time, real quick. I'm going to put it in. And yeah, still having problems. All right, sorry about the interruption there. My phone battery was about to die. So we'll um, go over this again. So you can see that the disc is just kind of sitting in there right now, right? Let's get it back out here. This isn't about the disc not reading. What it is is about the fact that it doesn't really feed in the disc quite the way it should feed in. Let me try it again. Now it's just not wanting to work for me at all. This is weird. So it was working earlier, of course. And as you start messing with stuff, that's when stuff goes haywire on you. <laughs> just move some stuff around. I never know if this is exactly what helps. Which, by the way, if you notice, when you move this, listen. That's, when, that's how you uh, uh, manually make the disc insert is when you push on this guy i don't know if anybody knows that or not you can see the little light blinking too and you can hear it trying to feed in so anyway if you ever have that uh if you ever wonder you know how to do it manually there you go so let me try one more time here there oh maybe shoot <laughs> this video was supposed to be better than this so that little guy is supposed to in the center there that's supposed to pop up and catch on the disc and it's not doing that right now <sighs> lovely all right um i'm gonna pause the video see if i can figure this out hold on Hey, okay, so I don't know why I cannot seem to get it to work uh, the way it was, but what was happening was the disc would go in, but it would hesitate as it went in, and then finally it would catch after maybe a second or two, and it would actually read, and it would show the disc just fine up on the screen. So go figure. I, I don't know what, the, what changed between then and now, but now all of a sudden it doesn't want to work. And so I got to take out two screws, one that's in this little corner and then one that's in that little corner right there. And sorry about the, uh, the shoddy uh, 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 camera angles here because uh, I'm working with just two hands here. I need to get a camera stand or something for my camera one day. And that's my little girl crying in the background. <laughs> little soundtrack. Oh, you know what? I think I just figured out what the problem was. Okay, so then up here, there's two clips. There's a clip here, and there's a clip there. And neither of those were actually clipped in. I think that's what our issue was. So you, I don't know if you heard that, that it was a click in, and it's clicked now. 
let me try this one more time here because like I said there shouldn't have been anything that changed but I think that's what changed was when that happened so here let me get both of those in there and we're gonna feed the disc in and like I said it's intermittent so yeah look at that now it's now it's it's spinning just fine and give it a second up here and it's gonna show uh, full auto right there so there's full auto okay so it's intermittent as it you know as it comes in and out um, it sometimes wants to work just fine other times not let's try it a couple of times here let's see if we can get it to see if we can get it to be intermittent for you no nope, not that time that's really odd so I've got uh, autoplay turned off by the way just so that I don't have to keep going but I have to wait for it to actually show the disc before I can eject it anybody uh, admit you guys may already all know that you may not I don't know let me go put it back in again yes look at that it's working just fine now you know maybe that was the problem the whole time was just that those little clips they weren't in all the way um, I doubt it though this machine had not been opened before I opened it and it was uh, having this issue it's been having this issue so who knows maybe somebody just dropped it and it kind of jarred them loose Huh. That's crazy. That is crazy. Maybe maybe that's the, the trick there. Maybe that's why it wasn't happening for me and why I didn't want to go in. Wow. Well, we're going to try this maybe a dozen more times real quick and... Uh, just kind of bear with me here while we kind of keep putting it in and out. But uh, again, this is, if you have this issue, uh, maybe that is just the, you know, the fix you got to look at. Um, Cause yeah, I mean, if this is going to keep working, I'm just going to slap this whole thing back together. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but like, so these two components right here, it's really hard to read the one on the bottom, but um, you can kind of tell that they both are numbered the same. And I had taken one out down here. I took this one apart, and this was my replacement part. And you can see that that is not the same number. So, not that that's going to make that big of a difference. This is just plastic. There's no, there's no sensors. There's no um, motherboards or daughter boards or any other kind of boards or anything. So, I mean, it's just plastic and a little bit of metal. Um, so, there's nothing on there that needs to worry about that. But it's always good to keep a machine you know, complete, if you at all can. Yeah, I think that's what the, the deal was. So once again, I'm going to try this just a, uh, you know, a handful more times here, uh, just to make sure that uh, what we're seeing is correct. But uh, that might have been the fix that I've been looking for. I was racking my brain too. Holy moly, I'll show you the underside of this thing. Well, you kind of just saw it a second ago there, but... I'll show you. Uh, I'll show it to you again, and I'll show you. It's just it was racking my brain trying to figure out what on earth was causing it to not want to feed in all the way. Just made no sense. Um, and when when I say not feed in all the way, I mean you know not not feed in the way it's supposed to, and and get started, and you know just do what it's supposed to do. I thought at first maybe it was you know you see all the dust on this. This is after blowing it out, okay? Now, I haven't, you know, like, wiped it down or anything, and I think I'm going to do that before I put this thing all the way back together. But um, I thought maybe the di the dust um, might have had something to do with uh, why it wasn't doing it. So here's the other plate from the other machine, and they're, they're identical. This is exactly what it looks like on the underside of this guy right here, okay? And you see these little rubber feet? Those were coated in dust. There's two of them on each side. They were coated in dust, and I thought maybe that's what the problem was. Um, once I cleaned it, I have some isopropyl alcohol right there, and I had a little container that I put it in and some Q-tips. You can see how dirty that Q-tip got cleaning this sucker. Um, uh, and that was just the underside of just those little, you know, the little bits. Um that uh, it just got nasty nasty but um but yeah no that did not seem to fix the problem and i think that that definitely was that that you know that's going to be the last time i'd try that because that just makes sense it's not hesitating at all there's no problems whatsoever so these little clips right here 
one right there and one right there okay those two clips are very very important evidently in making sure that when the disc uh, is trying to feed in that it feeds in correctly you know what we might even be able to kind of back test this a little bit so how you take those those out it's pretty simple these little clips you just push you push so this one this way and this one you push that way and if you just push them ever so slightly oh you see that it just kind of pops up a little there we're just going to pop that one up let's see what happens now when we put the disc in yeah look at that and that's exactly ver that, that's like a perfect example of what it was doing to me before it would hesitate to go in uh oh you know what i hope i didn't just <laughs> screw up the disc holy crap let's see is there a is there any problem with the disc doesn't look like it so it was not making that sound before i'm looking at it off camera here for just a second there's no there's no damage done to the disc thank goodness I, i'm not like super worried about that game per se but you know i mean i hate to waste the game i'm pushing it down to make sure it's in there so um it wasn't making that sound before, but it was hesitating. That I mean, that, that was just like perfect where it hesitated, but then it would go in and it would spin the disc just fine and it would show up on there. So now that that's popped back down again, let's put it down and put it in one more time. And look at that. It's working just fine. And yep, there's the, there's the game right there. Full auto. Boom. So once again, if you guys have that issue... There doesn't seem to be any other videos talking about that on YouTube that I could find anyway. So if it hesitates to go in, what might have happened was, um, again, this, this machine had not been opened before I opened it. Uh, the security seal was still intact. Um, so just make sure that these two clips are, are set correctly. If they're not set correctly, it's not going to feed in correctly. And it may play, but it's not going to feed in correctly. And there you have it. So pretty pretty awesome i'm glad i uh, uh played with that and uh, i'm glad i got it on camera so all right guys uh hope that helps anybody that might have that same issue and uh we'll talk to you later take care bye